Hey guys, Noel here, and it is Sunday night, and I have just watched some Columbo and some Honeymooners, and the family's asleep, and I thought we got a little bit of free time on our hands, so let's do a video for the video game section of the YouTube channel. Now, if you know me and you tune into the live streams and you watch the reviews, you know that I am a fan of all kinds of video monitor technology, and, uh, one of those monitors that I am a big fan of is uh, the nice uh, Sony Trinitron uh, television, right? We've got a lot of PVMs in here, uh, but this is a nice big consumer grade behemoth with a fantastic picture and it's actually got some really nice video options on it now a lot of the time when people think of crt tvs that were the you know kind of standard in the 1990s and early 2000s before you um got to the uh the flat screens you tend to think simply of composite video. And we actually have another video on the channel discussing how to get uh, an HD picture on here uh, by utilizing a combination technique of a um, S-video, and I'm sorry, an HDMI to S-video converter, and then an S-video converter to a component uh, converter to turn that S video into 480i and that will get you a, a very nice picture but it's not going to have the complete crystal clarity of a pure 480i image and I looked high and low many many times uh, for a way to convert HDMI to 480i now what is 480i? 480i is the component video the uh, RGB uh, jacks, the uh, red, green, and blue jacks uh, to put in those three color components uh, into a uh, television. And that was the early high definition methodology. My first high definition TV did not have HDMI. It was actually a little flat screen that had component video on the back of it. And Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, the high-end uh, CRT televisions, the consumer-grade ones, uh, had component video in the back that did 480i. So, the question is, how do you get HDMI to 480i? And a lot of the converters that you find on uh, Amazon uh, for HDMI to component video do not support 480i. I bought three different converters off of Amazon and was not able to get something to uh, convert HDMI to 480i. I would always get a scrambled image uh, that was just like kind of crazy lines and, and nothing even legible. So it was definitely uh, quite a situation and I uh, ended up kind of cobbling together the solution of finding uh, a way to turn uh, HDMI to S video and then S video into component video. But thankfully, uh, I found uh, by doing a ton of digging on YouTube and Google, um, I finally found a device that actually is stated just right up front by, you know, whatever YouTube video I could find or whatever uh, product descriptions I could find on Google was actually capable of of taking an HDMI picture and turning it into a 480i component picture. Um, there is a video of a guy on YouTube who does that. I'll link his video in the description because he's actually how I found out about this little box here. So what we're talking about here is the uh, universal uh, HDMI to component video converter with analog stereo or 5.1 channel optical audio outputs model H2CS. And this little buddy right here cost me $73 on Amazon. Now, for the longest time, this was not in stock on Amazon. And I did a ton of digging. And if you watch the live streams that I do, you'll have heard this story um, I ended up on a Chinese Amazon-style website. 
and I found this device. It was really the only place I could find this device for months and months and months and months because I just assumed it was never going to get restocked on Amazon. So I ordered it. I was unsure if I'd get something, but I was given a confirmation number from this website, and I got a tracking number to follow, and I did, and I knew because of a corona that was going to delay Asian shipping and all that other kind of stuff, which was fine, I understood. I mean, I was operating under the expectation that they'd never get uh, this nice converter box from this company, but they would send me email updates, so I was, you know, thinking like, okay, this is awesome, I'm going to get it. So I tracked it, and eventually it got into my hometown, and what did I see when I opened up the mail? This. And I was like, well, what is this? And uh, what it ended up being, uh, I don't even know if they're actually in here or not, but obviously this is not the converter. What this is is a um, pair of knockoff Coach sunglasses. That's what I got. <laughs> <laughs> so after, you know, a month plus of waiting, I got myself some Coach sunglasses. Maybe they're real. I can't. They're probably not real. Um, but either way, I got that from that website. And then once the second I saw this relisted on Amazon, I got it. So we actually have it playing in the background here uh, through uh, my Roku device that is streaming Spectrum Cable. And you can see just how beautiful the picture is. This is a crystal clear picture on a nice big screen. And uh, I understand that there are other ways to do this. Like if you just want to put this on a flat screen. But if you're like me and likes to watch a lot of television that was filmed in a 4x3 aspect ratio. Um, like anime from the uh, you know 70s, 80s, and 90s. Watch a lot of television from the 70s, 80s, and 90s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. You know, that kind of product was made with a CRT set in mind. And again, taking nothing away from a high-def set, but, you know, I, you know, and for video gaming too, like for the older games, this kind of set is a really nice set. Um... Especially if you get something like a SCART to component converter, you can play, you know, your older consoles, like your Sega Genesis, your Super Nintendo, that kind of thing, on a TV like this if you want to go the more conventional route as opposed to a PVM. So I'll actually, and the other thing too is like, I'll, before I put the phone down, um, Roku obviously is now the big uh, increasing standard. Uh, people are, you know, getting rid of cable. And in fact, I've got Spectrum cable playing through my Roku right here. So this is how I get cable in my game room. And Roku is just an HDMI device here. Uh, so if you want to get your Roku rocking on some uh, vintage technology right here, um, you know, you're going to want, and you want something like a really nice Trinitron set, you're going to want the universal HDMI to component video converter box. Uh, and you can find it on Amazon, at least as of right now, in late July of 2020. So, I'm going to put the phone down here, and you can actually see the magic here. And you'll see how nice and clear that picture is. Look at the detail on my hand right there. So, yeah, again, there's no distortion here, and it's just... The, whatever the TV can do, it's doing right here. And this is uh, Dick Van Dyke on MeTV. Uh, this is television before everyone started acting like nihilistic narcissists and uh, people thought that was fun. Thank you, Netflix and HBO, for ruining society. Uh, but either way, um, you know, MeTV is a place you can turn to for television before people were uh, willful monsters. Uh, but uh, maybe you want something else besides the uh, wholesome charm and comedy of uh, Dick Van Dyke, the everyman, and his uh, spunky pretty wife Mary Tyler Moore, and his uh, goofy TV show writer buddies. Um, so we'll actually hit the home button here, and like you said, like I said here, like you can get the Roku screen. This is completely comparable to a high definition TV. It's crazy how good 480i on a CRT can look. I mean, it's not 4K, um, but it is crystal clear stuff. Um, 
you know, I've been watching a lot of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure on Tubi. Um, I love the Retro Crush um, anime channel. Um, I do see Retro Crush's app increasingly freezing. I don't know if that's just me or, or something's wrong on my end, but um, but Retro Crush is great. It's like got uh, you know Vampire Princess Miu and Bubblegum Crisis and Street Fighter. So Apple Seed, so all kinds of good stuff, and you know a TV uh, that is in four by three um, that's able to pump this stuff out through really maximum, uh, you know, standard definition video capacity in the consumer grade area. You know, a nice big flat screen with big speakers and a crystal clear picture because you're getting the unfiltered RGB for consumer grade. Um, it's a really nice device, and it's exactly what I was looking for. But wait, there's more. Maybe you're someone like me who enjoys the mini consoles that are uh, all having the HDMI hookups. And as we all know, you know, classic games were made with CRT sets in mind. So we've got our Famicom Mini here. Uh, incidentally, I uh, have a friend. I always give him a plug. Retro Zoltan, uh, find him on uh, eBay and his website, RetroZoltan.com. Um, he does, I'm going to actually pull the HDMI plug out of the um, Roku here. So that's going to give us our test pattern screen. That's always refreshing to see that, you know, you're not getting a scrambled screen. Anyway, Retro Zoltan is actually modding a, a Shonen Jump Famicom for me. So if you have mini console... Uh, needs that you want to get modded, you want to turn your uh, PlayStation Mini into a actual PlayStation with good PlayStation games of, of a high quantity, or an esoteric variety of games like I enjoy, you know, like uh, all kinds of crazy shmups and gimmick games about Japanese supermodels and things like that, then, you know, Retro Zoltan will, will find those games for you and hack your, uh, and hack your mini consoles. Anyway, um, and also just, you know, this isn't even like an illegal thing, too. It's like, you know, for someone like me, like, I got a lot of old games. Some of them just don't even work, right? So, you know, someone like Zoltan will, will get you hooked up. Anyway, we got our Famicom Mini hooked up. So, we're going to switch it on. And you'll see that it, you know, boots right up here. And again, crystal clear, great big picture. Let's uh, play, ooh, I'll play some uh, Kunio Kun here. And uh, just again, really nice clear picture here. So you see those great big Famicom sprites there. And just looks really nice because, you know, the Famicom uh, Mini, um, you know, it, all the games are automatically in 4x3 four, four aspect ratio. Um, so getting these on a nice big screen like this, you know, it doesn't really matter that you have the uh, kind of black on the side because the picture is so big. Whereas if you're playing this on a, uh, you know, smaller... Uh, CRT set that doesn't allow you to either have a big screen or adjust the picture size, you know, you'll, uh, you know, might have a little bit of a scrunched looking picture here. And this Trinitron actually can do um, uh, 16 by 9, but you'll just get the letterbox because it's a big 4 by 3 screen. So yeah, so this is what we got here. So Famicom Mini plays great on this. And again, the YouTube... Um, uh, video that I actually found this on. The guy was playing an actual uh, PS4 on his Trinitron TV. So, you know, if you want to uh, uh, really push your consumer grade um, CRT electronics with uh, 480i component video to the limit, uh, this is the converter box that you want. A really nice sharp picture here. And, uh, whether it's uh, anime, Matlock, or the Famicom, you will uh, not be disappointed with what this can do. Because uh, it really takes care of my need to watch classic television and play classic games. 
on a big Sony Trinitron television. I'm going to uh, beat this Japanese delinquent in the head with a garbage can. And then I'm going to pause the game. So there we have it, guys. This is your, uh, your best bet, in my opinion, uh, based on my experiences. Again, judge for yourself. See those nice scan lines and that picture clarity right there. So, you know, if this is if you want to play your games on a really good consumer grade TV and not go the PVM route, um, the Universal HDMI Component Video Converter. I'm sorry, Universal HDMI 2 Component Video Converter. Uh, it looks just like this. It's got the uh, nice kind of heavy box. Not super heavy, but it feels substantial. It's got the the beige print on it. And it's also got some switches here where you can actually, um, you know, kind of toggle between NTSC and PAL and, you know, adjust your methodologies of, of component preference here. So pick it up if you have $70 to spend to uh, pump HDMI through a good, high def uh, a good standard definition TV that can basically do low quality high definition, so... There's that. Get some sleep. Until next time, my name's Noel. I'm going to queue up some uh, VHS tapes and old video games, and uh, I will see you in the very near future. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.